I make mistakes, you made mistakes, but did we make the same mistakes? Let me know in the comments down below and let's get started with the video. The egg festival is rigged. I stood in front of Abigail and blocked her during the entire egg festival, but she still won. The truth is that Abigail has blackmailed Jazz and Vincent and has forced them to give her their eggs. You need 9 eggs to beat her, but if you use this route, you can easily get between 15 and 18 eggs. That'll show her who is boss. Stardew Valley is a massive game with tons of things to do and the game teaches you nothing. This is where the wiki comes in, but you should avoid the wiki like it is a plague if you are new to the game. It is just way more rewarding to learn as you go. I am guilty of this one. Do not avoid the bulletin board and daily quests. These quests usually give you a decent small reward, but most importantly, these daily quests will increase friendship with the townspeople. Check out Blade's video about how he abused the bulletin board to marry Haley before the flower dance. Do you have 50 chests with all of the stuff that you have hoarded over the years of playing Stardew Valley but find it impossible to find something? Just label your chests using signs and sort everything. This will save you hours of time and literally cures the insanity. Ever chop down a tree, collect a bunch of garbage seeds, and salt them or drop them into the trash bin? Don't do that. You can craft field snacks with these, or you can just plant them around the world. You will never have enough wood in this game. Do the right thing, plant those tree seeds. Pam can drive you to the desert after completing the vault bundle. The desert is a deserted wasteland with only two people living here and a spooky skull cavern. Don't let the desert be a deserted wasteland. Utilize all of this space. Plant trees, place down some solar panels, just dump all your kegs here. So much potential for this wasteland. There are two main places that we can buy seeds from, the Jojo Mart or from Pierre the Scam Artist. Why is he a scam artist you might ask? Well, if you buy a bunch of seeds and accidentally click on them in your inventory, you will sell them back to Pierre for half the price. Okay fine, it's not just Pierre that does this, but avoid wasting money like this. Speaking of scam artist Pierre, he sells Deluxe Speed Grow for 150 gold. But guys, don't buy Speed Grow from Pierre. He is overcharging. Instead, head over to Sandy at the Oasis on Thursdays and buy them for 80 gold each. It's not a bargain, it's just a fair price. Look, I found a prismatic shard. They are so cool and rare, right? I can't wait to show Linus my brand new prismatic shard. What the... Have you ever tried speaking to someone and accidentally gifted them what was in your hand? Yeah, this has happened to me. So I always make sure to walk around with my trusty murderer side. Take that scam artist Pierre. If you don't gracefully donate your prismatic shards to random villagers by accident, you might get a ton of this stuff over time. But hey, don't just hold on to these things. They should not be saved like some family heirloom. Use them, get the galaxy sword, donate one of them to the museum, and use them to get enchantments. With some luck, you can easily stockpile these. Your character in Stardew Valley is so super slow. Just look at this. Even with coffee and some spicy eel, your character is just strolling around. But don't be slow. Build a stable, buy a horse whistle, and take your horse everywhere you go. Ride your horse into the desert sunset and gallop on the mysterious Ginger Island. Bring your horse wherever you go and also name your horse Speed to go faster. Have you ever finished a game, checked your chests, and noticed that you have a massive stockpile of food and items? Yeah, I do this all of the time. But don't never use your things. Some of the food in Stardew Valley will buff the heck out of you. Use your food and items. Don't be stingy. Grab some gold quality seafoam pudding, cross your line right over here, and get yourself an Iridium Grobus statue. The same is true for gold. The only way to make gold in Stardew is by spending gold. That 1 million gold just sitting in your wallet is not going to just grow on its own. Your gold is definitely not an NFT scam, no. You need to spend your gold to make gold. So go out there, buy those seeds or pigs, grow that bag. So we all know that you should not plant seeds too late in the season because they will die. But there's another mistake that many people make. 
do not plant too many seeds before you have crafted sprinklers. The truth is, you can easily spend your entire day watering crops and then sleeping with absolutely no energy. Do the right thing, plant a reasonable amount of seeds. Being defeated in battle in Stardew Valley is incredibly punishing. So don't do it. Don't lose a fight. Don't be knocked unconscious. You will lose everything. So do the right thing. Prepare accordingly. And if your preparations are not enough, run. Run as fast as you can and escape. Running is better than dying. Oh no, you spent the entire morning working hard on your farm and you're all out of energy but it's only 3pm. Which option is the best? Sleep and continue tomorrow or eat a bunch of food to restore my energy? Wrong. Just head over to the spa and relax a bit. Your energy will be full in no time. Are you a completionist and need to get 100% in Stargate Valley? Always watch the Queen of Sauce channel on your TV on every single Sunday. You will learn a new cooking recipe and you will need these to get perfection. Fruit trees are awesome. They provide a single fruit every single day during the fruit tree season. And the tree's age provides better fruit after each year. But they take a very long 28 days to fully mature. Before the tree is fully matured, it will look like this. And any tool will literally destroy this tree in one hit. Be careful around young trees. Chests placed around the world of Stardew Valley are not safe. Villagers will walk into them and destroy them with no mercy, unless you simply surround your chests with chairs. I don't know why this works, but it just does. Giant crops are great because they produce more crops right, do not harvest giant crops. They work so much better as decorative pieces on your farm, especially during Halloween. The greenhouse is awesome, right? You can simply plant a bunch of ancient fruit seeds here and they will continue to produce crops every 7 days forever. But do you know what I do? I completely forget about the crops inside of my greenhouse. Please learn from my mistakes. Make sure to harvest the crops in your greenhouse. Your wallet will thank you. Speaking of forgetting about things, I am the worst at petting and feeding my animals. When your pigs are at maximum hearts, they can find up to 3 truffles per day, but if they hate you, they can only find 1 truffle per day. Pet your animals and keep that silo full. Trash is not trash. I'm serious. Don't just throw those trash items you collect from fishing into the bin. Instead, place them into recycling machines. You can get wood, torches, and even refined quartz. And that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.